Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia. I'm the Witch of Wonderlust here on YouTube and on Instagram, and today I have an unboxing video for you. You all voted on my Instagram that I do the unboxing rather than the book review, so that's what we're doing. Grab yourself a drink. I have this lavender or gray. I iced it, made it sun tea because it is super hot here in Los Angeles in July. But other than that, let's get started. So you may realize somewhere along the line that this audio doesn't really match up it's because it doesn't that's because i completely lost all of the audio all of it so i am doing a voiceover doesn't match up it's fine let's just let's just open this box they always add in like a little list of all of the things that come in the box but it's kind of spoilers so i just set that one aside the first things I always kind of go for first are the grimoire pages. They're always really pretty the way they're designed and give a good amount of information, but they're not rambly, so I appreciate that. The next thing I went for were the cards. They always include a tarot card in each of the boxes from different decks. So this one I got the Nine of Wands. I don't know what deck this is from, so if you know, Please leave a comment down below because I like the watercolor type of art. And next there was like a little stack of cards. So we had a photo of Venus, we have a seal of Venus, the spirit of Venus, the intelligence of Venus, and Venus. So we're going to set those aside and finally dig into my favorite part. <laughs> Alright, so first we have a bag of cinnamon sticks. I love cinnamon sticks. I don't know why I just shook them like that, but it was probably because I was excited. Um, I use cinnamon sticks all the time in my craft and a lot of different spells, so that was perfect. I love taper candles. I do a lot of candle magic. I like to inscribe and carve onto them, so I'm really excited to be working with this. The first silk bag. I guess that's spoilers. I technically don't know that there's other silk bags yet, but the first one inside we have these little wooden carved wood burned talismans of each of the sigils that were previously shown on the cards that we pulled out earlier. And then we pull out our second herb of the box, rose petals. Rose petals are another herb that I like to use quite often in my craft, so that was also a very nice surprise. Then we have the second silk bag. And for the next thing I found in here was this beautiful point of rose quartz. And the last but best piece in my opinion was this handmade, specially made for this box, altar board for Venus. Absolutely gorgeous. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I think what I'm going to do is put it on my beauty altar because that's fitting. I just am obsessed with this board. And I think that that was it for this box. And now you'll see me trying to figure out what the hell I'm probably going to do with this. I might either do spell work on top of it, maybe make charm bags, especially with the beautiful, beautiful silk charm bags that were provided in this box. Or maybe I would set it up and maybe do something in front of it. Hey, look at that. I actually remembered what I was going to say. But anyway, as a recap of all of the things and all of the items that provided in this box, first off, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous altar board, this cute little rose quartz point, a wonderful pink taper candle, all of these beautiful handmade wooden talismans for Venus and different sigils, along with each of these gorgeous silk charm bags. We've got rose petals and a bag of cinnamon sticks, these wonderful little cards with Venus sigils on them, a nine of wands card from an unknown tarot deck, and all of these beautifully pre-printed grimoire pages. 
But that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did going through this July Venus box by The Witch's Box. One of the things I really enjoy about The Witch's Box subscription is that they have a deep dive every single month. So if you received one of these boxes or the book subscription box, at the end of the month, there is a group meeting with the owner, Elena, and everybody else who subscribed to the box that month. And you get to talk about the different experiences, the rituals, or how you used the items in the box. And I, for one, have gotten some really interesting ideas and resources out of that, as well as it's always fun to build a community. But as always, I will see you in the next video. Best of luck. Be kind to each other. And may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.